How are we doing guys? Welcome back to The Bon and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your first million air cocktail. This is a classic from our mate Harry Craddock and his 1930s Savoy cocktail book and it's a banger. But just before we head to the bar, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our uploads. Buy that like button a pint and I'll see you over at the bar. All right, guys, the millionaire cocktail number one. This is from our old mate Harry Craddock and his 1930 Savoy cocktail book. It's a very easy four part, equal part cocktail. I'm just going to smash it out now. I'm going to start with 20 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice, 20 mils of creme de cock, 20 mils of slow gin. And 20 mils of rum. The original recipe calls for an overproof Jamaican rum, but you know, millionaire cocktail, you want something decent, didn't you? So we're using that Pirate XO that we had for the rum swizzle, and that's it. I've seen some recipes with grenadine in it, but there's a lot of sweetness. I, I think I've got a feeling now that I've used that Pirate XO, it's gonna be it's gonna be too sweet. Let's see. All right guys, just a quick word from today's video sponsor. Now, according to the International Wine and Spirits record, people around the world last year spent $1.7 trillion on booze. And with everyone stuck at home, it makes sense. Now, for better or for worse, the last few years have given everyone the opportunity to broaden their horizons. Maybe you picked up a new hobby, maybe you started a passion project, maybe you started investing. I know it's been a great time for investing apps recently. Now, I'm just an international Playboy bartender. I've got a few stocks and shares, I've dabbled in crypto, but I'm no financial advisor. But what I do know is that good quality booze and cocktail ingredients are getting more expensive as the cost of living rises globally. With this in mind, it's more important than ever to find a way to make your money work for you. Because you might be able to drown your sorrows, but you don't want to wake up one day with only a well-stocked bar to your name. But here's the problem. As inflation rages on, traditional investments like stocks and bonds may decline in value. However, leading financial institutions like Goldman Sachs are investing more into alternative assets, things like precious metals, real estate, wine, and fine art. And it's that last asset, fine art, that has some potentially promising characteristics as an investment. Like a fine wine, contemporary art often appreciates in value over time. Until this point, reaping the benefits of art's appreciation has been nearly impossible. And that's why I'm excited to partner with Masterworks. Masterworks is an innovative platform that has opened up the once exclusive art market, allowing people like you and me to invest in shares of blue chip contemporary art. Again, I'm no financial expert. I'm definitely not an art connoisseur either. But with Masterworks, you don't have to be. Their team has over 75 years of experience with the art market. And since 2019, they've delivered an average of 29% net returns to their investors on their paintings Sold, with offerings filed with the SEC from legendary artists like Picasso, Banksy and Basquiat. And with all this news leading more investors towards alternative assets, the demand is only growing and Masterworks actually has a wait list right now. But my subscribers can skip that wait list by using the link below. So whether you're new to invest in or you're looking to diversify your portfolio, click that link and jump the queue at Masterworks. All right, back to the bar. Uh, I us grab a coupe. It's a millionaire cocktail, we need a fancy glass as well, so uh, you can double strain if you like. Just gonna go straight in. I actually wish I'd double strain now. Peeler! Oh no. I'm gonna have to use fucking Jeffrey a cheese slicer. I mean, it does exactly the same thing as a potato peeler, but it's fine. It was never zest on top. Millionaire number one. Let's have a quick taste. That is not too sweet at all. That is perfect and delicious. I haven't actually tried it with that pirate rum before. It's not, normally I'd use a different rum. Super fruity, very tropical from the apricot and the slow gin add, adds a really nice flavor to it. Lime balances it out. 
rum gives it a real richness. That is a winner. Cheers. Let me know how you're going. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how you got on with that millionaire down in the comments. Don't forget to tag us in all your cocktail photography over on Instagram and use the hashtag Bon Cocktails. You can follow us there at Bonville Cocktails and you can follow me at Rory Gillis if you like. If your hospitality establishment needs any bar training or consultancy, you can email me at hi at distilltruth.co.uk. You can DM me on YouTube. You can DM me over on Instagram. Don't forget, we are taking inquiries from America now as well. I will get around to telling you more about that soon. I'm just trying to figure out the best way of going about it. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I'll see you next time. How are you doing, guys? Welcome back to the... Are you in focus? You f**k with. And we're in... To getting to... And we're in... Oh, I <laughs> be sent too high at the... Da -da 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 -da. We in focus. Oh, we in focus. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's do that again, shall we? Yeah. That was pretty good. High energy. High energy. Energy, energy, energy. What is that on my butt? And I'll see you at the bar. How are we doing, guys? Well, I think that's done, isn't it? Out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how you got on with that millionaire down in the cocktail. In the cocktail. All right. There it is. Delicious. That's how we do it.